Welcome users to another venture of this neighboring universe called the Twitter world. This time from James, who is the of this particular game, contacted me. After some talk, I decided to give it a go. So here's the review with some extras. But before that, I would implore you to consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And also follow me on Twitter, as that is also super helpful. That will be all. Now back to the video. The game in question is Alien Scumbags. It's an indie action game with pixel graphics known for its gore and the best homages ever. Everything in this game instantly reminds you of some very very well known mechanics, designs or enemies as some sort of homage from the other games, easter eggs of sorts. And that results in you wanting to find out everything. Too much weak stuff, right? Well, let me show you some examples. The intro, for example, has this guy you expect to see starred in every American movie. The guy who will be constantly giving you orders and quests you just have to fulfill. And at the end, probably do some third grade sacrifice, leaving you all alone to fight the boss. These lockers are a very famous mechanic used in Outlast and more well known in Alien Isolation and a lot of other games. But all the writings on the wall give a very Dead Space like feeling. In fact, we can actually recreate its trailer just by doing this. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, there is some story and even boss fight ish. But the best part is the environment. Every stage has this deep and gloomy feeling. And even though I can't figure out if this is a spaceship like Ishimura or deep underground facility, but it's just it's so amazing to look around. The environment really does feel surreal. The secrets become continuously tricky to find and reach. And then there are traps spread around. And they are very deadly. But depending on the difficulty you choose, the enemies and the general feel range from having a walk in the park at midnight to welcome to inferno, biatch. Now this needs more explanation. So let's get into some details. In basic or easy difficulty, the enemies are usually zombies with low health and low numbers around the stage. 
normal one has the number increased to a challenging amount with some hunters in the pack. But it is still doable with some smart gameplay. But the hard one is pure hell. It's the equivalent to Devil May Cry's Dante May Die mode. Because here you will fight against hunters from the start. It'll rain like cats and dogs. You will be introduced to slugs and other enemies in no time and really need to keep in mind what to do and how to maneuver around the monsters. They will grab you and snack on you like Mars bars. With all of this in mind, maybe the universal answer is not fulfilled. The question repeated through eternity of why I should buy this game or even try it. Well, it's because the devs put their souls into it. Each mechanic of the game is well oiled and hidden items truly put a smile on my face. The developer is super helpful and responds lightning fast to any issues or praise I have for the game and generally holds a very respectable conversation, something you find very rare in this Twitter world. Something even AAA directors fail at with flying colors. So it is my humble request to check out this game as it is only 5-ish euros full of surprises and easter eggs. And have a great day while you're at it.